Hi guys, this is Simon Sage from Android Central. We are at the ZTE booth here at Mobile World Congress 2012. Taking a look at two LTE phones uh, that they've announced here at the show. One of them here on the right here is the N910. Uh, I believe they are both coming to North America, which is good news. Uh, we can always use some more LTE devices, I suppose. Uh, the specs on the CDMA version here are pretty decent. We've got a 1.2 gigahertz dual core CPU. We've got a 4.3 inch uh, 40 by 300 display and a 5 megapixel camera. Uh, we've got a passive touchscreen uh, and a front facing camera on there. Uh, 512 megs of RAM. So uh, distinctly mid range. Uh, we can take a quick uh, look at the hardware here. Uh, it's, uh, it's a little on the chunky side here. Uh, but I mean, considering the mid-range specs, we can only assume that the uh, that the price point here is going to be fairly attractive. So uh, we've got on this side a volume rocker and a micro HDMI out. Down here, not much of anything. It's actually got a, a decent style to it, despite the uh, the thickness. It's got kind of a rakish angle at the bottom and up the top. Microphone jack and around back. That's about it. So uh, let's take a look at the software here. Looks like it's running a fairly bare bones ice cream sandwich here. Uh, flipping through pages pretty quick. Launch into NeoCore and see how that runs. So let's just take a look here. It's handling 3D graphics just fine, as you might expect from a dual-core CPU. Unfortunately, the PF200 over here is not working. Either the battery's dead or it's just a dummy unit. It's got a dual-core 1.5 gigahertz processor, so a little bit faster than uh, the EVDO version. It's got a 4.3-inch screen and an 8-megapixel camera, so slightly higher end, although the, uh, the hardware looks largely the same here. Uh, take a quick look here. Let me crank on the light. So we got a uh, cam dedicated camera key, we got a uh, power key up top there with a uh, headphone jack. And on this side we've got micro USB and volume rocker down there, not much of anything. Dedicated capacitive keys along the bottom here too, which uh, is an ongoing trend. We saw that with ViewSonic too, uh, even though ICS tends to take, o take that over on the software front, looks like manufacturers are still willing to put the capacitive keys in. So anyway, this is Simon Sage from Android Central, and these are the two new LTE phones coming from ZTE.